now, the people who have brought you the magic of Hollywood for over 75 years want to bring it to you like no one else can. To take you inside the heart of a working motion picture and television studio to watch real filmmaking in action and share the secrets, the spectacle, the glamour that have made not only great entertainment, but entertainment history. Universal Studios Florida, premiering in Orlando, spring 1990. It's the greatest Hollywood production ever. I'm nervous about starting at this new college. I just don't want the people to know about my problem. It's awful when all the girls just think you're a geek. You realize that you're the only woman I've ever had sex with? Alvin, concentrate on your problem. Are you sure that's wise? See, if I solve my problem, you're gone. And that means no more. Alvin, you're being bad. I too like it when I'm bad. Be bad with me, Alvin. Alvin! Alvin! Oh, come on, man. You promised me. No more of these stupid fantasies. What? I was doing self-analysis, Randy. Yeah. From what I just saw, Alvy, it looks like you were getting to the old self-help part. Now, come on, man. Let's bolt. Oh, Alvy. You're sick. Land of the plenty. 
You're not going to have any trouble picking up women here at all. Then come here for women. No? No. Here? They come for you, Alvin. It's great. It's everything we've dreamed about. Never had a problem with dreaming, either. Dreaming has always been your problem. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? My name is Dean Pulver. I'm the dean at Hart University, and I want to welcome you with my whole heart. Mm. Get it? My heart. H-E-A-R-T. <laughs> oh, man, you believe this guy. I want to welcome... I want to remind the older students that it is their responsibility to make the new students feel at home. I want to welcome all of our new young Hi. friends here at home. I'm Randy Slugger. Friends call me Slugger. Will you be helping me to feel at home? I'm sorry. You are. Not interested. <laughs> Love you. with great sincerity. And sincerity is what it's all about. Hi, Sue. Oh, God, you look beautiful in that dress. I want it just for you. I want to rip it off and devour you. Do it. I can't. Why? Because I gotta learn how to control myself. <laughs> Why can't you? Because every time I close my eyes, I get this image of you, and you're in the shower soaping up, and you're waiting for me. Alvin, let's go back to your room. Let's see. If I give it now, I may never be able to give it up. I gotta fight it. No. Are you sure you can give me up completely? Let me remind you. No. Yes, you know, I can't think straight when you're around. All I want to do is run my hands over your naked body. Whether I go or stay, it's up to you. Hey, dude, you got a key? A what? A key? No. From nourishment, we have learning, for instance. From math, we see that twice two makes four, twice six makes 12, and seven sevens make, uh, and from geography, we learn the basics of our This is better than the panty ads in Cosmo. Whoa! We have just located a pantyless subject. Let me see. Let me see no panties. Wait your turn. I don't understand all this turn stuff. They're my binoculars. Alroy! Look at the big picture. We're a team. And teammates share everything. Yeah, and I want to share the one without the panties. <laughs> My turn. Because of the academic trouble we had last semester, we are initiating a new policy. From this time forth, 
any member of an organization that plunks a course, that organization will not be allowed to return for the next term. There will be no exceptions. This, we hope, will help instill a mental team effort. And effort is what it's all about. You know, I'm a little worried about this daydreaming thing. I, I just can't control it anymore, you know? Do you want to go on making a fool of yourself forever like today? No. Well then, just say no. Just say no. no. Okay. Now from this point on, it's 100% concentration on exactly what I'm doing. That a boy. Yeah. That's right. I'm the master of my own destiny. Yeah. I'm the captain of my ship. The pilot of my plane. I can... 2630. I like a man with a hefty appetite. Oh, shit. Check out the globes on this tweaky. That's the kind of woman you need, I'll be right there. Oh, you see her? <laughs> see her. I've erected a monument to her. The blonde. The blonde right there with the gorgeous hair. Alvin, relax, man. Keep the swelling down. Come on. Uh, mind if we, uh, share this table? Uh, no. I'm Randy Slugger. Friends call me Slugger. This is Al. I'm Sue. What's going on here? Well, it seems as though you guys are trying to pick me up. Weird, huh? Huh? Can we get you some oxygen or something? What are you doing here? She's eating, Alvin. We're in a cafeteria, planet Earth. May I finish eating? I think I'll have a seat. No. I can't finish eating? Let her finish eating. Poor girl just wants to finish eating. Finish eating. Do you guys practice this routine or something? Alvy, why don't you uh, run along now? Why don't you join him? I thought I told you I want you out of my life. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Look, Alvy's not too good with women. Really? You'd rather have a real girl like her than me? He can do anything with me, Alvy. He can touch my face, my skin, my breasts. But I don't, don't want to touch your breasts. You're not going to touch my breasts. breasts. Alvy, don't touch your breasts. There's nothing wrong with daydreaming. It's confusing me. Yeah, you know, I'm a little flustered by myself. I can't tell fantasy from reality anymore. Well, there's a very simple test. Can I help? Please. Fun's over. I'm out of here. Good. And don't come back. Someone ought to teach you some manners, Sonny. Nice, Alvy. Real nice. Friends of yours? Uh, no. They just sat down and started this weird routine. Looks like you need a bodyguard. Taking applications? I'd like to apply. I'm sorry. It's OK. I've got another one. Where are you staying? Uh, I'm pledging at the Wamabama house. Hey. Then I guess I'll be seeing a lot more of you. Maybe. Hey, I got to run. Oh. Beware of insulting little men with glasses. Oh, God! It's Pledge Week! Another year of RSDA choice. Lean and horny! Let me see! Let me see, horny! Wait a minute. One more minute. This time, I'm watching the clock. Whoa! Look at those Goodyear blimps! Let me see! Let me see the blimps! Shut it up! You... you kill 
about it. Oh, yes! Oh! 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 Yes! Oh, baby! Oh, gosh, yes! Oh! 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 Great. There's not a man in the world who wouldn't believe that. Next pledge. I can't do that. Sure you can. Medics back then. It's not that, it's just, who are you? Uh, Susan Halloran. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so? You've been pre-approved. We're putting you in with Bunny. We're hoping you can prevent her from failing. She's had an intellectual bypass. He's coming! He's coming! Oh, great! Nice touch. Oh, my God! Oh, he's coming! to make sure that uh, we're getting settled in all right. I'm going to make improving life at Whamabama one of my special priorities this semester. You know, my mother was this house's founder. That's her. There. <laughs> I would rather see her beloved house closed down than have her memory tainted by the sexploits of a bunch of sluts. <gasps> but our new grade policy should make uh, things here very different. What do you think, Miss Pojo? Uh, think? That this semester is going to be long and hard. Oh, I like that. I see you somehow ended up in Professor Harding's economics class. No problem. I'll just transfer to old Mr. Buckley's section. He's so nice to me. He's an artist. Really? Yeah, he etched me. There'll be no transfers. Those, those assignments are permanent, I can assure you. And Professor Harding flunks one out of three students. One, two, flunk. One, two, flunk. I'm counting on your dwindling mental capacity. <laughs> Thanks. There's something rotten in the state of Denmark. It's the cheese. It's the way they process it. That's funny. Look at that picture. And make my mother proud. What a butthead. Big enough. 
Oh, are you my roommate? Uh, yeah. Oh, I hear you're really smart. Oh, I, I don't know about that, but I get good grades. I wish I could do that. I wish I had your sex appeal. Thanks. They say you're gonna smarten me up. Oh, well, my specialty is the cerebral. Oh. I had mine removed. Oh, yeah? Uh, well, I was hoping maybe you could help me out a little bit. I don't know much about guys, but I was told that this is the place to come and learn. This is the place? But why would you have trouble with guys? Um, well, to be honest and sincere... Oh, you should always be honest and sincere, even if you don't mean it. Well, <laughs> I used to be really embarrassed and very shy around guys. Oh, I read about this. You're suffering from peanuts envy, developed by that guy named Floyd. Uh, um, I don't think so, <laughs> but it's, it's kind of personal, really, it's, it's quite silly, but I, I'm better now, but, um, I met my first real college guy today, I stumbled all over myself, and I look awful. Oh, no, you don't. You've got the right chassis, you just need a little body work and a fresh coat of paint. So we'll help each other out? Starting now. I know. I told you to leave me alone. But I am just not ready to face reality yet. It's okay. I understand. Hormonal overload causes stress. Am I completely losing it, or is there a girl in the cafeteria that looks just like you? Hmm. She had her similarities. But what does that mean? Did I dream her up, or did she dream me up? Yo, Alvy, there's a party at Whamma Bama. This party is bound to get out of hand. And when it does, I'll be there. To catch them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got carried away. I'm doing this for you. I just want you to be happy. And after tonight, you will be. <laughs> He's here. He's here. You guys ready? <laughs>
Bar. Let me see. Let me see, Skinny. Oh, I found the hole. Do you remember me, Alvin? Did you come to yell at me some more? Well, see, I wasn't quite myself the other day. There, there was something going on that, that I didn't quite understand. Oh, well, that changes everything. You want to get married? <laughs> do you, do you, do you believe in destiny? That there are forces outside of ourselves that, that bring people together? Is this leading to my zodiac sign or something? No. I, oh, uh, never mind. So, uh, what are you, a sophomore or junior? Sophomore. I just transferred from the junior college with, uh, Randy. Oh, that makes three of us. Which one? Alameda. Uh, you wouldn't have had anything to do with the science department at Alameda, would you? Yeah. Why? Well, uh, you beat us out two years in a row. <laughs> science fair. <laughs> that was me. Kind of smart. Oh, really? Yeah. I had a perfect SAT score. Oh, well, I guess that qualifies as kind of smart. <laughs> We're actually having a real conversation here. <laughs> You're not so bad. You're weird. <laughs> well, I was always, always kind of weird, too, you know? She thinks you're funny. Don't blow it. Keep the jokes coming. So, um, what are you studying? Uh, I decided to try acting. Acting? Uh, which restaurant we been working at? <laughs> Alvin, that's not very funny. Well, ask her how many actors it takes to screw in a light bulb. Well, I don't know about that. To belittle someone's aspirations? How many actors does it take to screw in a light bulb? Alvin, I take this very seriously. 200, one to screw it in, the rest to say, I could have done that. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Ridiculous? At least I have ambition. You blew it. <laughs> Shut up. Girls like that, how can I stand out as being good looking? Mingle with ugly people? That's the guy I was telling you about. Oh. Just go over and say, hi, remember me? He'll take it from there. I don't know. <laughs> go on. Almost everybody has to start somewhere. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Not right now. <laughs> no problem. How did I tell you? We're going to date on Friday. It's going to be perfect. Hi. I'm good. Uh, remember me? Yeah. Sure. How have you been? Uh... Fine. Uh, just fine. Uh, listen, uh, uh, I'll talk to you later, okay? Any more problems with insulting little men with glasses? No. 
bit more. Perfect. Just as popular as he is. Just have to get up and go over there. smartest guy I know. I think when you're so far above everyone else, it gets lonely. Have you heard about his daydreams? Daydreams? Oh, yeah. He's famous. I can get off. Was I interrupting anything? No, I was just <laughs> standing here. Just daydreaming? Yeah. I used to do it uh, when I was younger. I did it. Um, I used to create these fantasies of me being a queen and everyone did my bidding. Yeah? <laughs> me too, except the queen part. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it became a bad habit I couldn't break. You still do it? No, no, I'm completely cured. Do you miss it? No. Oh. Sometimes. Well, I think it's a gift. I mean, not too many people can entirely remove themselves from any sort of reality. You ought to try it again sometime. No, I don't think so. It got pretty intense. Oh, but you see, that's the fun of it. I mean, you can go anywhere. You could be anybody. Let me talk you through one. Alvin, yeah. no. I can make your dreams come true for a fraction of a second. <laughs> Close your eyes. If you drop no, me... No, I got you. Okay, picture this. You're a champion diver. It's the Olympics. And you got one dive left, and you gotta make it perfect. 
Alvin, this isn't working. No, you gotta make it real for yourself. You gotta put yourself in it. You gotta hear it. You feel it. Smell it. Okay, just... Just listen. You hear the crowd? And they see you. The crowd begins to roar. The announcer begins to speak. This is Susan Halloran's third and final attempt at striking gold. The Russian Burkhoff has made an amazing dive. You never did that with me. 6.2. Didn't cut the water cleanly. <laughs> Seems we have the first actual case of someone dying of embarrassment. You only have a few moments to live. Any last requests? Alvin! Alvin! You remember that snob we talked to in the cafeteria? Some dweeb just dumped her in the pool, man. You could dance like that. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. <clears throat> I'm okay. I didn't see you. My fault. I um, I should have walked louder. I'm really sorry. I, I I've, I've got to get to class. Okay. See you around. Yeah, that meat's a little fresh, ain't it? Hmm. <laughs> it may take a little coaxing. And a little time, but uh, I have a feeling what's under that sweater is worth it. Oh, I get it. Investment dating. Well, you won't get it out of your pants with her. <laughs> I'm willing to bet otherwise. hundred bucks. You're on.
I don't know what happened, but somehow she got into my daydream or I got into hers. I don't know, but I'm just really confused. Obviously. Maybe, you know, maybe we're soulmates with a special kind of destiny, like, like Romeo and Juliet, or Anthony and Cleopatra. Or Sears and Roebuck. What if I can get into her mind, and I can show her that I am not a nerd? Well, what's stopping you? Because I am a nerd. You do just fine with me, most of the time. No, it's, it's not the same with you. She has her own mind. Thank you very much. No, I mean, I'm just not used to relating to a real person, that's all. Sorry about all this. I realize you're a little confused. <laughs> Where'd you get those? It was your idea. What? When we were talking about our house, Mother, you said take her flowers. And so when she wasn't looking, I did. What's wrong? Um, uh, nothing. Something's weird. Do you believe in the power of the mind, ESP? Oh, sure. I believe in all that stuff. It happens to me all the time. Like, the phone will ring, I'll pick it up, and I'll know exactly who it is. Even before they talk? No. I'm so confused. You've been working too hard on my problem. Come on. Let's do you. <laughs> so what do you think? I love it. I'm just not quite sure what to do with it. Uh, let's start with the basics. How's your walk? My walk? Yeah. Just fine. Gets me where I'm going. <laughs> do it for me. My walk? Yeah. Oh, no, honey. Watch this. How did you do that? It's all on my hips. <laughs> now watch again. You try. How's that? Uh... What? Was it wrong? Um, let's work on it. You have to feel the rhythms. <laughs> get so hung up on one girl, man. Babes are everywhere. I'm not interested in babes. I'm interested in Sue. Mm. Look at that, Fox. I'll get her for you. Hi. I'm Randy Slogger. Friends call me a slugger. And uh, you are? Trying to read. <laughs> Finally, a girl with a good sense of humor. Ha ha. Well, what? She's obviously a lesbian. I mean, come on. Told you she'd turn into a healthy dividend. Well, the bet's not over. Till you bop her. I will. And what kind of proof do I get? Same as usual. <laughs> Go ahead, dude. Now's your chance.
May I join you? Yeah. What do you want? Nothing. I was just... Never mind. Oh, your hand. Doctor says I should have healing in a month. Tough break. What? She's obviously a lesbian. Where'd you get that outfit? This? Um, I found it in my closet. I haven't worn it for years. You look hot in it. Oh, no, actually, it's quite comfortable. I mean, hot. Great. Terrific. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. Hey, listen, uh, what are you doing on Friday? You want to grab a bite to eat or something? Friday? Oh, um, gee, what am I doing? I, Friday sounds great. <laughs> I'd love to, thanks. Great. Sure. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay. Well, in case you can forget about her. Why? It's a bad sign when they won't even talk to you out of it. No, I should talk to me. Stop it. I don't know how I do it, but it's, it's something special. Yeah, it's a waste of time. Ever since you got me started in that stupid diving dream. A dream, don't you understand? They, they, they make things happen. Yeah, and what is happening? It's some kind of... It's a psychic bond. I don't know. Well, whatever it is, cut it out. This could be something wonderful. I feel alone, too, sometimes. We really did have the same dream. Yeah. I just want to be with you like that again.
Aha! Mission accomplished, Private. I've spotted the missiles. Let me see. Let me see missiles. This one is truly blessed. Her cups runneth over. Let me see. Let me see spilled cups. Okay, let's do it. Jeez, all you had to do was ask. Where is she? Isn't she tremendous? I'll say. Now that's my idea of a woman. That's my idea of three women. Uh-oh, Private. The enemy's on the move. Where? Let me see. Ugh. Nice going, dipshit. All set for your date with Brad? Uh, yeah, I guess. You don't sound very excited. Well, I've, uh, just been spending a lot of time with Alvin lately. The little guy with glasses? Well, he can be wonderful in ways. Ways I... I can't really explain. But you wouldn't go for him over Brad. Oh, no! <laughs> no, of course not. Maybe we should start working on how to take exams. But since you have to relax, so how do you relax? I imagine I'm in the jungle, surrounded by 50 huge savages that all want me at once. They begin fighting over me and tear my clothes off. Oh, but they're clean, well-groomed savages. They can't be dirty. That's my one thing, guy. Wait, 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 wait. I was talking about how you relax in class. So was I. <laughs> Where's the king? He's coming up the walkway! Hurry! Where are I just thought I'd uh, check up on you girls. <laughs> Make sure your uh, studies were going well. <clears throat> Funny. Well, it's good to see them. Uh, you. Uh, too bad about your midterm test scores. You're even more witless than I thought. You're just saying that. Well, keep trying. Oh, but don't study too hard. I'd hate to see you strain anything. I'll be going. Try teaching your girls a little personal hygiene for crying out loud. That's disgusting.
just in time that geek was on the seat. Yeah, speaking of which, have you seen the dork Catherine's dating? <laughs> Talk about settling. Well, look at Catherine, you get what you're worth. Yeah, but I'd rather be an old man than to end up with a nerd. <laughs> so, who are you dating? Oh, uh, Brad Britton? Not THE Brad Britton. Yeah. How'd you get him to ask you out? I don't know. He just did. Hi. Alvin, what are you doing here? I just want to know if you want to go to the library later on. No, I'm busy. I'll talk to you later. Back up in case Brad doesn't work out. Sorry, Alvin, what'd you want? Nothing. I'm sorry I embarrassed you over there. Oh, no, it's not that. You just took me by surprise. I just thought it was time that we'd go out on a real date. That's all. Maybe tonight. I'm sorry. I already have a date. With, with Brad? Alvin, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a nice guy, too. Well, that's different. It, this is different. <laughs> is it because they were calling me a nerd over there? No, no, that's not the problem. <laughs> Listen, aren't you happy with what we have? No, 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 I'm not happy with... I'm, I could be a lot happier. Alvin... What you and I have is a fantasy. It could never be reality. Why not? Because <laughs> it just couldn't. Okay? I have to get to class. You're gonna be hot. Thanks. No, I mean, where we're going tonight, you're gonna be hot in that sweater. Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna go long, yeah. so I pick him out and turn. Quarterback throws me a short, quick one. I catch it perfectly. First down again. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth down, fourth quarter. We're six points behind. Quarterback rolls out. Throws time. You ready? Jock talk. Oh, I was slipping into a coma. Were you? I love being with you. I love being with you. Why can't we be like this in reality? Alvin, what are you doing here? I want an answer. Wait, but what is going on and who is this? Don't push the girl, Alvin. If she's not interested in the real you, then she's just not interested. Who is that? Is that how you see me? Is that how you see me? I can't believe that you would put me in an outfit like that. I can't believe I look like that. Tell me about it. Is this what you see in our fantasies? No, I mean, not really, but now that I see me or your rendition of me, 
I know why you don't want to go out with me. Or the real me. You please stop saying that. Now you can see why I'm so upset. No, I can't. Alvin, can't you control her? I'm not even straight on who's controlling who. Alvin, please, just take her and go. Yes, Alvin, take your little trollop and run along. No, wait a minute. Okay, all I wanted to know... I don't even know what I wanted to know. I need an aspirin. What you wanted to know is why she's rejected you, and it's quite obvious. She's created this unrealistic cardboard image of you. Now, Alvin, let's go. Because you need somebody who's going to appreciate the real you. Can I get out? I gotta take a piss. Oh. Ah. Okay. May I please be excused so that I might go to the restroom? Is that better? Sorry about your eye. It's okay. I should have my sight back in a week. Thanks for bringing me home. Oh. What's the problem? I think we should just take a little bit more time. How much time are you talking about? I mean, how many more dinners before I'm you're going to Sorry, start... my feelings are such a burden on your pocketbook. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Look, Sue, I really like you. And I just want to be close to you. Sorry. Thanks for a nice evening. Didn't go so well, huh, Jim? Don't worry. She'll come around. They always do. <laughs> I just want us to have in reality what we have in our dreams. I can't concentrate on anything else. I can vouch for that. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we're not destined to be together. You sure did give up easily. What else can I do? I can think of a few things we used to do. I need to get a man's perspective. Hello. My name is... Never mind. <clears throat> Beautiful day. Maybe not. Hey, what's new? Not much. Oh, a heavenly body from hell. Randy. Oh, I, I need your advice on women. Yeah? Well, you came to the right guy. <laughs> Women like to know that you anticipate their wants. The same is true in bed. Yeah, but I just want to get her to like me, though. Just take a shower with her. Oh, yeah. My dreams. <laughs> no more, Alvin. Not after last night. No, there's something special I want to do in a dream. Oh, yeah? Like what? With Bunny. What? Just get me into a room tonight. Are you sure about this? You said you wanted to help Bunny. Well, I can. Through her dreams. I've got you now. <laughs> Have you ever done this before? No. For the first time. Do you know what you're doing?
are victorious. Let me see. Let me see, Hooter. No way. You're the one who broke the binoculars. It's empty. It's empty. Completely empty. Take a look in here. Look who's overdrawn at the intelligence bank. <laughs> have you learned anything, Bunny? Anything at all which may have stuck in the cracks of your otherwise empty mind? Answer! I think I'm undecided, but I'm not sure. Dirty Bell, come, come in. But don't expect me to hold back the class for you. Who's that? Oh, that's Alvin. I don't know why he's here. Hi, I'll be very quiet, sir. Today is the final. <laughs> uh -oh. I forgot. I didn't study. I can't wait here all day. Aren't you going to do anything? <laughs> 
This is all Greek to me. Ready for our big test? She didn't stop.
all ready for the big test, Miss Bodo? Yes, sir. board tomorrow. I wanted you since I first saw you in that store. Those big eyes. Sensual lips. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, okay, look, just, just give me five minutes. What's that? All right, all right. There you go, Alvy. <laughs> Let me explain this. Yeah. Okay. Since we've been here, I haven't. But I haven't had the opportunity for any. You haven't know. gotten late. Hey, come on, I'm working on it, man. But I thought you were this ladies' man, Alvy. Girls don't want a ladies' man. They want somebody like you. It's all part of this fantasy shit they've got about real men. Fuck them. Hey, Randy? Yeah. Where you going? Down to the pool to check out the babes. Oh, uh, Randy? Flotation device? Uh-uh. Why don't you two get to know each other? Uh, just a second. Hi. <laughs> Can I come in? Yeah, sure. How are you? Good. Um. So, how did the uh, how did the test go? I understood some of the questions. Uh -huh. <laughs> what you did in my dream. I see myself different now. I realize now. I can do anything I want, despite what people think of me. <laughs> well, the dreams, they, 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 they make things happen. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> uh, buddy, what, what can I do about Sue? Do what you did for me. The way you see yourself is the way others see you. <laughs> goosey, goosey. <laughs> <laughs> Goosey, goosey. I'm really glad you decided to see me. I felt really bad about the other night. No, it isn't. I understand. The important thing is that we're here now. Don't! Just relax. We're here to have fun. Nothing else. Stop it! <laughs>
Papa. Hi, Dad. You've got my good binoculars. Let me have them. You could go blind looking at this. Go home. I have to stay here. It's uh, part of my job. Oh, and don't tell your mother. Uh, she doesn't understand this part of my job. Uh-huh. You could go blind looking at that. Now go home. Yes, Mama. Oh, you lose. It ain't over yet. A hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. You think I'm gonna let all this free sympathy go to waste? I've been looking for you. Uh, I was hoping that, that maybe you'd give me another chance. No, no, no. I know I've been a real asshole, but, but things are different now. The, 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 the thought of losing a hundred years and, and an eternity with you has, has changed me. I'm the same man. I was... I was hoping you'd come. You were? Alvin, I'm so sorry. Shh. Would you listen to me? You see, Bunny, she helped me realize some things about myself. I've been pigeonholed the same way she has all my life. I always got chemistry sets and books. I never got a football, but that's okay. See, I may not be your perfect fantasy lover. And you may not be mine. Alvin, I've been a jerk. I never knew what I wanted. But now I do. I don't care if you can throw a football or not. I like you just the way you are. But what you really want is someone that you're not going to be embarrassed by. I'm not embarrassed by you. Alvin.
You are tricky. Mm -hmm. I think you like me. Just the way I am. You're wonderful just the way you are. Does this mean we can start over? From scratch? Will you be happy with just me? I don't know. I mean, we do have all those other people inside of us. This may take some practice dealing with it, that's all. Where did you learn to kiss like that? I don't know. <laughs> I used to blow the bugle in the Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are we going to do about the dreams? We could still have them. Every relationship needs a shot of fantasy every now and then. Yeah. Does she know what's in my dreams? Am I in her? 